what's up tbs crew it's your boy steph back with another reaction this time we have sir spooks five creepy videos found on reddit uploaded september 19th 2019 now y'all already know down in the description will be links to sir spooks this channel this original video and all of my social medias without further ado let's get into it My name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five creepy videos found on Reddit. Most of these are pretty recent, so I obviously can't be sure if you've seen them before. But nevertheless, let's begin. I already didn't like that first video. Two weeks ago, a video was uploaded to the ghost subreddit, and the video allegedly shows a two-year-old boy's legs being pulled by a ghost while he was sleeping in his crib. Take a look. Yeah, I, is that an orb that I see that's near his legs being put? That is an orb. Oh, hell no. Baby Bonkers is haunted. Baby Harris is haunted. My bad. It's got to start with an H because haunted starts with an H. Dude, that's unnerving, fam. I... Ugh. This is going to be one of those videos. It literally looks like this orb is pulling this child's legs. Many say it's some of the best evidence they've seen on the subreddit, while others are skeptical, saying that this might just be the boy making those movements by himself. He could perhaps just be stretching his legs out, I even saw a comment to say that he now believes in ghosts. It isn't entirely convincing to me, however, as it could just be the boy moving that way while sleeping. But I'm not saying it couldn't be something paranormal. Many creepy videos have been caught on baby monitors, so maybe this is just one of many true ghost sightings caught in babies' rooms. What about that orb, though? What about that orb, though? Now, this video was originally posted to TikTok, but it did come to my attention through Reddit, as someone on the Skinwalker subreddit believed this video could have been the sound of a Skinwalker, or perhaps a Wendigo. It was recorded by a user known as the Hillbillies. Dude, I just let the dogs out and this shit's happening again. Dude, what? Don't go looking for something if you don't want to find it. Oh no. Oh no. Listen to that. What? I don't know. Dude, why do you think I brought him in the house and run out here? Listen to that. Oh no. You'd be a fool to stay out there. Get him in the house. Get him in the house. Get him in the house. Since it was uploaded, it has received 318,000 likes, as well as over 11,000 comments. Some say it's a wolf, some say it's a panther, but many people believe it to be something much more supernatural. What do you guys think? Could this just be a normal animal, or was it perhaps a wendigo? Wolf, panther, mysterious creature, it's all bad. This video was uploaded about 10 days ago to the ghost subreddit. The title states the following, quote, Listen when I'm on the stairs, you'll hear someone say, Hey, but I was completely alone, so I don't know who it was. I stop and listen in the video too, because I heard it with my own ears. And I was looking around to see if I could find anyone, but I couldn't. So I got scared and kept going, end quote. You thought you were alone, but you thought wrong. Hey. 
Hey, nothing. Someone asked why he was filming himself going down the stairs, to which he made a strange reply that concluded with him just saying he felt like filming it. Apparently, there was a power outage that knocked out the elevator, so he decided to go upstairs to see if anyone needed help. But that doesn't really explain him filming it. Nevertheless, the supposed EVP definitely sounds like someone saying, hey, whether it was another person hiding or truly a ghost is of course unknown. It all comes down to what you believe. Eh, nah. That's too coincidental for me. This video was only uploaded a day ago, and it shows a guy going up an elevator. At some point when he gets out again, a strange voice can be heard in the background. It sounds like it's saying, help them. Listen carefully. Here we go with these elevators, fam. Y'all know how I feel about them. Damn, that was scary. I was expecting... Did you catch it? Listen again. I can't. It definitely sounds like a person whispering the words, help them. I can't help. But could it have been an object in the background making sounds that somehow sounded similar to a person's voice? Either way, it's a very creepy video and makes you wonder who this man is supposed to help. Maybe a ghost is haunting the building and trying to get people to help someone. Let me know if you guys think this is a ghost or something much more natural. I can't. Ain't shit I can do for you. I need Last help. Last year, a guy named Emmett Barringer posted a scary story that he'd encountered after moving into a two-bedroom unit. Soon after moving in, he heard noises coming from the bedroom, which was vacant. He was afraid there was a person there. The sound was a droning, electronic-sounding hum. Vacant. He twisted the knob and kicked the door in. This is what he described. Quote, the windows were all closed and locked. Nobody was in there, and the sound was instantly gone upon cracking the door open. But my stomach jumped to my throat in the grim discovery of what was on the floor. There was a severed thumb, wet blood on the fleshy pulp protruding from the clean slice. I nearly vomited, backing out as horror flooded my mind. I returned to take a few photos and a video of the thumb, careful to not touch it, end quote. The video is quite graphic, so I can't show much of that one, if any of it, but I'll of course leave a link to the full post in the description. He had no idea how anyone could have entered the room. He called the police, and even though they investigated the apartment, they found nothing else out of the ordinary. They simply suggested that he changed his locks. The same thing happened some days later, and this time he filmed his encounter. Take a look. See, this is the video they showed in the intro. I, I don't like that. I just expected something to be there. Like a person, a ghost, a shadow, something. It's raining outside, man. Occasional lightning and some thunder. That low-key not helping me with this situation. I'm on edge. Don't look under the bed, fam. Come on now. He went through the phone to search for clues as to what was going on. He described the following, quote, There were no photos, but there were two videos, which I watched in revulsion and horror. The first showed some fleshy mass that almost resembled a face devoid of eyes behind transparent plastic, gnashing teeth, or moving in frantic bursts as that awful sound screamed. The second clip is the second bedroom door opening from the inside, aiming towards my room with my bedroom door open. 
the most unsettling thing about the second part of the clip is that out of habit, I only leave my bedroom door open when I'm there. End quote. Take a look at the disturbing video we found. I almost had a heart attack. That got me. Even Yo. if this were to be fictional, it's still a truly creepy story. And the accompanying clips just help to heighten it from most other creepy stories out there. You can read the fully detailed story by following the link in the description. And that was five creepy videos found on Reddit. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then subscribe for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. I didn't like that. Yo! I did not like that shit. I swear to God, fam. I did not realize that Sir Spooks was going to actually show the two videos that was located in that discarded phone. Yo, that creature's face in that plastic, it was so fucking close to the screen. Like, I automatically got goosebumps. I still have them. And that's not even because the room is chilly. Like, fam, I don't know if y'all can really see that but dude i got like goosebumps it's shit oh boy some good horror videos man horror is my favorite genre but damn man sometimes they sometimes these horror narrators and content creators i be watching man who deal with the horror genre man they be doing too good of a job God damn, bro, bro, that fucked me up. I ain't gonna hold y'all, man. That video, that that clip fucked me up tough. Dude, these fucking goosebumps. You know what? I'm gonna close the video because this is the fifth video I've recorded in a row. And that just like threw me the fuck off and like unnerved me to no end where and you know it's bad when I have to fall back onto my bed and distance myself from the screen here like you know it's fucking bad but that shit got me though shout out to you sir spooks you sh this shit got me you real one. real talk scary as hell no lie Thank you so much, guys, for watching my video. If you enjoyed the reaction, leave a like, a comment, and share the video. And if you really liked it, subscribe to the channel, join the TBS crew, and tap that bell icon so you will get notified every time your boy Steph drop new content, which I do on a weekly basis. That is all I got for y'all this time around. Your boy Steph is out.